All right, here we go. How to work on getting the files off of our audio decks onto the computer. Now, I've already gone through and downloaded them, but I have to make a second screen recording because the audio wasn't on when I made the first one. So here we go, part two. First off, plug in the USB cable to the audio deck. And once you do that, the audio deck will wake up and I'm going to push the selection wheel on storage on the top of the audio deck and you're going to see the H4n SD card mount on the desktop. Double click on it, go into stereo, go to folder one. This is the file we want. Drag it to the desktop. Okay, and when you're done here, go to file and I'm sorry, go right click on it, move to trash and go to file, I'm sorry, finder, empty trash and there we go. That's a nice thing to do. And then drag this to the trash, which will turn into an eject icon, and then you can eject the audio deck. Now do that again for the other audio deck. Now we're just gonna pretend I did that, and it's like a cooking show. And I already downloaded the files, but let's just say that I got deck one, which had track one and two, in this case was vocals and guitar. And I added this one, two onto the file name so that I know that that one's that. And you'll notice that on file, uh, the file that I got off the second audio deck, I named it track three and four because this is bass and drums. I want to keep these separate. Next thing I want to do is go up here to the uh, search and look for Audacity. Okay, and double click Audacity and open it up. All the computers should have it. I'm going to drag, drag both these files in here and I'm going to see it set up. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to sync up the tracks. This right here was a clap or a shout that I did, and you can see that this deck started recording before this one, so I need to align these. So what I do is I come up here and I drag over the tool, and the name of the tool will pop up when you drag over it and hold there for a minute, or a second. And so I need the time shift tool, so I'm gonna click this, and I'm gonna zoom it, or I'm gonna move it like this, and then what I wanna do is I wanna zoom in. So I'm gonna use the magnifying tool here, and I want to get this aligned a little bit more precisely. And then I'm going to go back to this tool, which is the selection tool, and I'm going to select both these and hit the space bar. Yeah! Now it sounds like, you know, I look at these right here, it looks like it's pretty accurate. So I think this is all lined up. Now if I click this tool right here, which is the fit project to width, it takes me back out. And now that they're all aligned, the next thing I want to do is I want to break the tracks up into split uh, mono tracks. So this is the vocals, it's the guitar, and then I'm gonna go down and do this on this one as well, and split to mono. Now I have guitar, I'm sorry, vocals, guitar, bass, and drums, and I can do things to them separately. Uh, what I can do collectively is I can select everything here and hit the delete key. If that's stuff I don't want, I can get rid of it. Uh, I can go as far as um, going like that and dragging all these down. And when I listen to everything, it's all playing at once. Check, man, check, check. We now, do have sound now. And if I were to listen again, there, turn off this really loud, that was the vocal check, mic. One, check, check. You could hear me in the other now. mics in the room. And uh, But now I can solo tracks and listen to them isolated and hear what I said. On, and it was not. I just pushed the switch up. And now that should have sound. And that's a guitar mic. So I can explore this. Now, what I want you to do is explore Audacity and how it functions so you can learn how to use different effects. We have compressor in here, we have uh, amplification you can do, but generally you can start to mix things down and get things to work the way you want, um, and voila. But then, once you've done uh, a mix the way you want, what I would recommend is um, save it. So I go to save, I click OK, and you should save this as something that's gonna be consistent for your team to know, and I'm going to name it something like Team 1, Session 2, uh, Recordings, Whoa. Recordings, and, oh, uh, let's do this, Recording 1. Okay, now that tells me all I need to know, I'm going to save it to the desktop. And this has to travel together. These are all the little files that Audacity needs, and this is the Audacity file. Without this file, this doesn't work. So what I do is I will make a folder, and 
uh, name it what I need to name it, which is essentially the same stuff. So I might say uh, team one, uh, session one, uh, and what I like to do is recordings, and then I can put this in here, and then voila. Then go to the server folder and make sure that it's available on the server folder so that other people on my team can work on it. And so I'll just drag this into the folder here, and I can put that there. Now somebody can, in the classroom that's on your team can go there. Now this, if this is the mixer and you're on, if you're in the studio and you're saving it on the computer and you, you want to do that, you don't want to work on mixing in the same room with the band is practicing because this can be too loud. You need to go to a different room, put on some headphones, listen to material, and start working on your work. Both the mixing and mastering person can then access the file. Uh, what I recommend is the mixing person does the mixing to get the levels right, get things kind of cleaned up, and then save that into the class folder from Audacity, and then the mastering person can go in, grab the files, and drag them to their desktop and do the mastering process, and then save a WAV file for the final mix of recording one, for instance. And every day, we should have a recording mixed and mastered by the various people, the mixer and mastering person, uh, save for that day's recording. And each recording, we're going to get a little bit better as we start to learn how to record better, as the engineer places the mics a little bit more strategically. Uh, the idea is we're growing as we do this. The more we do it, the better we get at it, the more we are able to hear the little nuances from a mix. And that is the process.